I'm going to touch on Tottenham's former manager while we've been talking, talking to, about Tottenham, which is Mauricio Pochettino, potentially going to Chelsea. Looks mm-hmm. like it's almost confirmed. There's been definitely a lot of talk um, from people in the know that it, it's pretty much done. Um, Pochettino, he's he's got obviously Premier League pedigree, but he's not felt the love lately, has he? As PSG manager, since he left, he's had an extended break because I think he needed that after that experience. Yeah. Um, but at Tottenham, he established himself and Southampton as well as a manager who really coached players, first of all, created a team, created a squad, created a really good atmosphere and worked miracles with, with a budget really as well. Not that he'll have a small budget at Chelsea, However, the players he's got do need the armour on their shoulder, that kind of coaching element and that kind of almost father figure. Do you think Pochettino is a smart move for Chelsea? And do you think Chelsea is a smart move for Pochettino, if that's the case? I, I'm struggling to work it out because you are right. Pochettino's credit in the bank comes from him being such a good coach, particularly of young players. Yeah. Would we not have said exactly the same thing about Graham Potter? Now, all right, Pochettino has probably proved it for slightly longer at more of an elite level. But the job at PSG, is that anything like the job at Chelsea? Really? No, he's got nothing to compete with there. The only similarity is, seems to be endless amounts of money. And I don't, mm. I don't know where Pochettino fits in at Chelsea because in theory, it makes sense. They've signed a lot of young players with really high ceilings and he's shown before that he can help players get to that ceiling. Look at someone like Deli Alley and where his career has gone since Pochettino and him parted company. Mm-hmm. But are Chelsea going to give him the time to develop players? Because they didn't give Potter that time. So it seems like a weird step. I, d- I don't know what Chelsea want to do. So <laughs> I don't think Chelsea know what Chelsea want to do. So it's really hard to identify who the right managerial candidate yeah. was. They clearly have missed out on a few targets. It, it seemed like they were talking to Luis Enrique and that fell through. A very different manager to Pochettino. It felt like they were talking to Nagelsmann and that didn't work out. So I don't know is the honest answer. All I do know is it's a huge job. Pochettino will have a great deal on his plate. I don't know how much money he'll have to spend in the summer because they've spent so much already rebuilding that squad. They've absolutely got to shift some players. Yeah. And I look at that squad now and think, who are the players that really benefit from Pochettino's appointment in particular? And that's that's tricky to identify. True. But I think I think it's probably better for Pochettino than it is for Chelsea. Purely because I think Pochettino is trying to rebuild somewhat his reputation. And I think with Chelsea, he'll have a really good chance to do what he does best. Now, the difference between him and Potter is that Graham Potter... They could kind of expected there to be some kind of lull, I think, once Potter got installed as manager. But to go to where they went to, as opposed to being still in the top six, was such a drop-off. I don't think Chelsea and Todd Bowley quite expected that. With Pochettino, I think Chelsea will be at the very least the top six team because their squad and their team is so much better than than where they are. And it's just a chance for him to get them performing at a bare minimum level of that top six for him to be, I don't know, given a, a little bit more respite, I think. I think he'll do that quite easily. There's a lot of people talking about Chelsea being title contenders next season. No, no one's very no, premature. Yeah. No, but yeah. I think they do you know that with the right amount of coaching with the players they've got, because as you say, they're not going to be able to spend a huge amount of money in the summer. There are positions they need to, to identify quickly and obviously striker being one of them. Pochettino is the right person to, to be that coach. And I think there's a lot of players needing some reassurance at the minute that they're good enough to do that because they're doubting themselves. And they've just had a spell under Frank Lampard. And, and he's not he's not the most like reassuring coach, is he? I imagine he's a great arm around the shoulder as a big brother type figure. But I don't he's think not. He is. Well, that's what his reputation is built upon, right? But I think uh, Pochettino has got that disciplinary inside of him as well. I think he's proven that. He's not afraid to kind of crack the whip a little bit if things aren't falling into line. Uh, He couldn't do that at PSG. He needs a level of autonomy that I think he'll probably get more at Chelsea. So for him, I feel like it's a good move. For Chelsea, I'm not so sure because they do still feel like they're trying to invest in some kind of project. And I don't know if they've got the patience for it. So it's a weird conundrum for them, isn't it? Devil's advocate. I don't know how I feel about the appointments. I'm not necessarily saying that I disagree with you, but would you want to rely on Todd Bowley's Chelsea to rebuild your <laughs> reputation right now? I, I wouldn't. I, just, I think Lampard's learned that the hard way. I think Potter's seen his reputation take a bit of a hit from that. I'm, I'm not sure that it's a smart move from Pochettino's point of view in that sense. Mm. And he struggled at PSG to manage a dressing room full of characters. 
He's not just got a dressing room full of characters at Chelsea. The canteen's full of the ones that can't fit in the dressing room. The car park doesn't <laughs> have any spare spaces. There's more players there than he'll be able to manage. Yeah. Absolutely. Is he the sort of person that can go in there and clear a squad out? I don't I don't know. I've never seen enough from Pochettino to think that he would be able to do that. He is friendly. He is a a good developer. Is that what Chelsea need right now? Or do they need someone to be a bit more ruthless? Do they need, let's be honest, Thomas Tuchel? Yes. Of course they do. I look at that Chelsea squad and for all the investment that they've put in, you say that it's a top six squad. Is it? (laughs) I, I, I don't know. I don't think either goalkeeper is in the top six goalkeepers in the league right now. Mendy, again, was was poor against Forest. Kepa's had a decent season, but I think I could think of six goalkeepers in the Premier League better than, better than him. True. I think defensively, Koulibaly's not lived up to what we thought he would. Kukurea seems like a massive spank of money. Mm. All right, they've got Chilwell and James. They can't keep themselves fit. Thiago Silva's your age. Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know how good that defence is. Is that a top six defence, really? I know I'm missing yeah. Fafana and, uh, and Buddy Shealy as well. Yeah, it's a young, but, talented team, and I think they've they've got potential. And I think as a as a future starting eleven, you can see it taking shape. And obviously, Mudrick's not had a fair shake, really. He's been thrown right into it. Um, Madueke has shown signs, hasn't Madueke he, in the recent great. weeks? So there's yeah. a few players there that I can see performing. You're right, though; they've got to trim That's a lot a of players. Yeah. That's that's a hope that all of those young players reach their ceilings. They're bought in mm. on potential, and that's great if you can trust your scouting network to be consistent. Look at Brighton, they've done that. But the difference is the risk for Brighton doing it compared to yeah. the way Chelsea have done it is bizarre. You're like you have to not you specifically, but you have to assume that all of those players are worth the money that Chelsea paid for them to consider them a top six team. And I'm not sure that that's true. Enzo Fernandez looks fantastic. Short of that, Madueke as well. I really like Madueke and I think we've seen enough of him, not just here, but in in Holland as well, to say that he will be a phenomenal player. Yeah. The rest of their transfer business seems so scattergun. They've got another right back coming in in the summer in Gusto. Where does he fit in when you've got Rhys James? And Kunku is a big one. And that probably addresses some of their attacking problems because he is a phenomenal player. But then there's Jao Felix. Do you keep him? Do you have to move on from players like Kovacic and Kante and start again? It's it's a big job. I'm not sure that Pochettino has much of a proof that that's the right thing for him. I'll be honest. But I don't know who would be the right person to take over at Chelsea yeah. right now other than someone who knows something about football being the owner. That, that, that seems where the biggest change needs to happen. I'm sure Chelsea fans would agree. 